five, they haven't seen me, I'm already starting to cry. Um, Miss America kicked me out, they said I was too old, so I'm a little upset. But it's fine. <sighs> the definition of perseverance is doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. According to Albert Einstein, insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Some could say that I am persistently insane, but I choose to think that I have been steadfast in my desire to become Miss America, and that makes me insanely persistent. For the past 15 years, I have pursued many titles that would eventually get me closer to becoming Miss America. For 15 years, I have chosen to use this organization to help me make strides in empowering others and pursuing world change through my platforms and social impact initiatives. For 15 years, I have thrived in the heart of an organization that promotes the very ideals and values that I hold myself to every single day. Miss America is moving toward another 100 years. She's breaking stereotypes, reaching higher education through scholarships, and promoting a smart, bold leader, all while showing that empowered women still embrace femininity through beauty, style, grace, and compassion in a way that only a woman can. And that is something I see worthy of a little insane persistence. Last year, when Miss Trina texted and told me that the age limit to compete had been raised, my first thought was, God answers prayers. I wasn't ready to move into a phase of life that meant I didn't have a spot on home base or get to eat a cooked hot dog. The second thought was, give it a rest. Thank God that you made the top 15 last year and move on. Nonetheless, I signed up for the very next local, which meant that I would have the opportunity to potentially be Miss Gwinnett County one more time. I'm so grateful that I got the distinct honor of being crowned by my sister as Miss Gwinnett County for a second time. That night was the catalyst for an incredible, fulfilling year. I put everything that I had and all of my energy into being the absolute best competitor I could possibly be for this last time. For the first time, I loved who I was inside and out. I was proud of me in a way I had never been before. I think that made all the difference. I was 100% me. I rocked my short hair. I displayed all my curves. I sucked my heart out. And I loved every single minute of it. Every single time I walked off stage, I thought, wow. This is what confidence feels like. You left it all out there, girl. I walked away from Miss Georgia as a double preliminary winner. I won the overall. I won the overall on stage question and social impact pitch, and that culminated in me being named second runner up to Miss Georgia and earning more than $4,500. and just shy what I said, of what I set out to do. None of that is what I would consider my biggest win. Sorry. When a judge asked me in an interview, if you could go back and tell 10-year-old Leah something, what would you say? I said I'd tell her she was enough. I know it sounded cookie cutter and I didn't think that it was a great answer, but it was true. For so long, I have not believed that I was worthy or capable or worthy of any of the incredible blessings that I've had, but yet here I am. I think that's my win. Ten-year-old Leah is so darn proud of the person that she's becoming. Gosh, I'm so sorry it took so long. And becoming who I am, there are so many people who deserve things. And since this, and since this is a farewell to life as a title holder, and not just this title, the list is exhausting. And while I can very well hold you here and have you listen to every single thank you, I would never be so cruel to my beautiful friends backstage. I would be remiss, however, if I don't acknowledge some extremely important people. My Miss Virginia family. I didn't grow up in Virginia. I mean, in Georgia. Virginia was my home. I like to say I'm Virginia bred and Georgia raised. Um, but my Miss Virginia family, to every sister queen I've ever had, to every director who's become family, thank you. To my former Miss Georgia directors, Miss Penny States, Miss Becky Roberts, Mr. Marty Chapman, thank you. To my former field directors, Mr. Don Heron, Ms. Debbie, Ms. Wanda, and all of the field directors. If you need a field director in like everyday life, it's not just pageantry. You need a field director. Like I need a life director, and I need it to be one of the field directors. Um, to all the amazing women, so many who are here, who have been a friend when I needed it and a voice of reason when I didn't want it. Thank you. Uh, to the Miss Georgia board, uh, Miss Trina, Mr. Jim. 
Miss Tammy, Miss Kathy, Miss Shari, Miss Marcy, and everyone else who makes that well-oiled machine run so well. Thank you. You give women the opportunity to be who they want to be, to be who they need to be, and to live their life to the fullest, and that is worthy of so much. So I miss what I'm coming for. Miss Debbie, Miss Mike, and Miss Michelle, thank you. You believed in me when I didn't believe in myself. And you never once stopped to tell me that you loved me and that I was worthy and capable, and I am so thankful. To Miss Susan, when I was Miss Gwinnett County the first time, Miss Becky was the director and her health was not well. And a lot of that year, um, I was by myself. And so I called Miss Susan because she was Emily's mom and Emily was last Miss Gwinnett County and I said, I just need some help. If you're in Gwinnett County, can you help me? And she didn't hesitate. She took time out of her day. She took time out of her night. She called me, she helped me, she got me sponsor visits. And that's just who she is. She loves this organization just as much as I do. And she loves every single girl without reservation. And that is so incredible. So Ms. Susan, thank you. Thank you for being a mom when I needed it and for picking me in my butt when I needed it. And thank you for just believing in me forever. A special thank you and a huge I love you to Ms. K and Ms. Ann. They're a package deal. You can't, can't love you. Ultimately, you are who me and Taylor hope to be one day. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Kay, your smiling face always brightens my day, and I have never ever doubted your love for me. To my sister queens, Cheyenne and Melanie, I am so grateful to have you in my life. I am so grateful for the opportunity and to learn from you and to grow with you and to have you as a part of who I am. To my sweet Rebecca, you know how I feel about you, and I can't sit here and try to come up with enough words because there just aren't any. The last three years with you have left me a better person, and I am eternally thankful for your love and your friendship. To Addie Sheik, you deserve so much thanks for the way you poured into me and the way you support those who love you without reservation. I am grateful that you were in my corner. To Scott March, thanks. You are a wonderful gift to this organization and one that I truly treasure. I have never felt more beautiful or seen. Thank you. To the women who brought me, who pageantry brought me a friend and left with family. My Aunt Carolyn, my Aunt Sabrina, Desi, Julia, Pam, Bridget, and Emily. Thank you for your unwavering support. You always give and the love you always show. To my family, who is undoubtedly the greatest family to ever exist, thank you. If I used every single word in the dictionary to express my gratitude, it would never be enough. To my dad. And Jay and Nan and Pop and Jordy of the Chum and Darlene, Joy of Lou, Kia, Marty, Teresa, Sissy, and my baby girl Lyric, who's not only my goddaughter, but who took the Miss Georgia stage and would not get off. <laughs> thank you. I reserve a special thank you for my sister who's not here, which, God bless it. Taylor's my best friend. My greatest inspiration, my confidant, my biggest supporter, and my overall perfect favorite person. Although I knew I would, our life would not work for either of us without each other in it. I stand in awe of everything you are and everything you do to my mama. I don't know that I'll ever be able to put into words the gratitude, love, and admiration I have for you. If I can become half the woman you are, I will consider that to be a very well-lived life. I am not saying goodbye to the Miss Georgia organization or the Miss America organization. I'll move into a role that I have long admired and completely benefited from, that of volunteer. However, the time has come for me to fall off my sash and hang up my crown. But the work doesn't end here. For such a time as this, I was created. And whether I'm Miss America, Miss Georgia, Miss Gwinnett County, or my new favorite title, Leah Burrow, I will continue to work on behalf of those whose voices aren't heard and whose worth is questioned. As I move forward to this next phase of life, I will strive to not just be in the room where great things happen, but insist they happen at a table I own and a building I own. Breaking glass dealers feel that heck of a lot better than the own building. I'm pretty sure the devil says bad words when I wake up in the morning. And I'm pretty okay with that. God's undying love and undeserving grace has brought me this far. And I know he's got a lot further for 